Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you my full review of the Clinique Acne Solutions BB Cream and I'm also going to be doing a little like demo at the end and show you how um, if I were going to wear it like you know, if I were going to wear it, how I would do it, and you know, if I would use a setting powder, what kind of what I would pair with it, which I think is kind of helpful. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I, um, I just took my hair down. I had it pinned up, and it feels like I'm wearing a wig. Isn't that weird? Like when you are used to like your hair being parted a certain way, and then you take it down, it feels like really heavy. I don't know. Maybe it looks like that too. <laughs> I don't know. This is a product that I have been raving about for a while, ever since I got it, about a month ago. Um, I can honestly say that it has been very, very surprising. Um, usually anything that says acne solutions or acne on it, I am not a huge fan of it when it comes to foundations, um, anything like that, like anything that has a tint to it, anything that you would put on your face like a foundation. Um, because I don't like the way that salicylic acid products react with foundations. They usually break up you know, over a little bit of time. I just, I'm not really super into that. So, so when I saw this, I thought that it had salicylic in it. I wasn't super into it. But then when I started really reading about it, I saw that it didn't have it. I got curious. I decided to try it. Um, also, someone had told me on here when I had mentioned that before that because of the SPF, since it's a high SPF, it's SPF 40, usually they don't combine that with acne fighting ingredients, which totally makes sense. So, I use the shade Light. I believe there are five shades. Now, that sounds scary, but they do range in, like, very light, which I'm the lightest shade. I'm pale as, mm, to a shade that I believe is called Deep. So, whereas this one shade works for me, even though the shade range is very, like, from very light to very dark, there's not a whole lot of variation in between. So maybe you could mix a couple shades to get your perfect shade if that were an issue. So that's the one thing with the shades. I almost didn't find this when I went to look for it at Sephora. It's not with the Clinique makeup. It's actually with the skincare products over where they actually sell the acne solutions, like face wash and stuff like that. So I almost didn't find it um, because I actually bought mine in store because I just you know for the shade and everything. I'm gonna demo it and everything but um, I do want to kind of hit the high points. I don't want to just like ramble on about it forever but I probably could because it's 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 pretty unique stuff. So it's one of those um, shakeable you know very thin products which usually really scares me because anything that I've ever tried like that hasn't usually been my favorite. It's either like very drying because of the alcohol content in it um, it's just very like gross, chalky looking, not super um, pigmented. And so especially since this says it's mattifying because of like acne solutions, whatever, it's really just designed not to treat acne because it has no acne treatments in it. It's just designed not to break you out and to sort of work with your other um, skincare products if you are suffering with acne um, in a way that's not going to break you out even further, which I think is really cool and we'll get into that more in a second. Um, but even if you don't have acne, this would be a really cool product. Um, my skin is very breakout prone. It's kind of on the mend. You'll see more in the demo, but it is very runny. Um, it, it, I almost hate that it's in a squeeze tube because you don't even have to squeeze it. You literally just tip it over and the product will come dripping out. Now you can apply it a couple ways and I've applied it all different ways. I do not like a sponge with it because I find um, with a dampened beauty blender usually because it's damp it is designed like that because it will not absorb your foundation because it's already dampened. But with a product like this that's this thin I do feel like a sponge is just not the way to go. Um, what I like to do is use a really small dense brush. This is the um, IT LBD Foundation number 302 brush. Um, or like my Sephora little 56 airbrush. But what I think is just the honest best way to do it is to not squirt it on the back of your hand. Just squirt it into your fingertips. And I'll show this in the demo. And then just pat it in. Um, I hated that I wasted that. It has a very faint scent of alcohol and... Um, uh, sunscreen. Nothing too overwhelming. Um, the product has unbelievable coverage and when I first used it I thought this is not a BB cream. They're just calling it a BB cream because I don't know why. Maybe because it has SPF in it, you know? Like I feel like nowadays companies call everything a BB cream. Um, so when I first, I just think it Personally, I do think it behaves more like a foundation. Like, at first glance, when you feel it, when you see... It's like, to me, a foundation. It doesn't really say anything about, like, having any anti-aging thing. Really, the only thing is, you know, it's got unbelievable coverage. It has the SPF in it. 
Um, that's what I see at first glance. But when you actually use it, you realize how moisturizing it is. So I guess that is the whole like BB end of it. Like it actually is doing a couple different things. You can totally skip moisturizer with this. Um, which is really nice, especially, like I said, if you are suffering from breakouts and the last thing that you want to do is, you know, after you wash your face, you don't want to use a million different products. You know, like if you use a treatment for your acne and then you use a, mo a moisturizer and then a primer and then a foundation, that is a lot. And for me, I cringe with that anyways, even if I'm not breaking out. I just I hate doing that. Um, so this is cool because you can truly wash your face and do what you got to do and then use this and it is very, very nourishing and moisturizing feeling. So the coverage is unbelievable. I have a lot of like hyperpigmentation and issues left behind from breakouts, even though I'm not breaking out currently. It's just, you know, those little dark marks that are kind of purpley that take forever to go away. They will go away, but it takes forever. Um, it's really hard to cover that a lot of the time. You always, you know, I even with a great coverage foundation, I still have to use a... Um, Concealer so I was shocked that with this I really don't even have to use concealer and um, And that being said it's light. It feels like you've put nothing on your skin so That is what I love about this is that when you pat it in and you do it the way that I'm gonna show you It looks like it just melts into your skin. It is like so glowy so natural Which is not what you'd expect from a product that says like acne solutions. You know what I mean? I would picture a product that's almost very, hate to say this, but like chalky, maybe a little drying, which is what I've experienced with a lot of um, acne products, like foundation-y type products in the past. Um, and then the ones that have salicylic in it always look greasy and just break up on me. I just hate that. So, but this doesn't have that, so that's fine. But this is just such a unique thing. If you do not have acne and you have really good skin, I think this would be awesome for you. If you do have acne, I think this would be awesome for you. It's just a really cool product. So I use it sometimes just in the place, really if I'm going to use, I do use it in the place of my moisturizer. Today, um, I have had a little bit of like around my hairline right there where it kind of meets my eyebrows. Sometimes I'll have like dry skin. If I'm going to get dry skin, that's where I get it, like if it flakes. So I'll use like a little bit of a moisturizer right there just so that the pigment from the foundation, the aspect of that doesn't like, you know, catch on. And then I'll just use that and my skin is really comfortable. I don't feel like I need a moisturizer because it sort of doubles as that. It really adds a lot of moisture, but at the same time, it doesn't feel greasy. Now this does say, and I wish they would have worded it differently, it says it's a mattifying foundation. It's not going to give you a matte finish, but it is going to, I feel, control the oil. Um, when I use it, I would say the finish is very natural. It's not shiny at all. It just looks like clean skin. It's not powdery and matte, but it's not um, shiny, which is my ideal. Like right in between there is, is just the natural, like glowy skin um, is what I like to go for. So it just sort of, like I said, really melts into your skin, really looks natural. It's really, really awesome stuff. The wear is very good. It really, really wears well. Um, the days that I just use this and I'm just around the house and I'm not really using a setting powder or any other like makeup products, it works great. Um, if I actually use a setting powder with um, just a very light one, I, d I don't like to apply a colored like powder that's going to make it look crazy. Um, I'll show you the one that I've been using that I love that works just really super well with this. Um, it wears really well like that as as well. So I believe it's around $35, $36. So, you know, I mean, I feel like lately I've been trying a lot of new things with the Laura Mercier Silk Cream um, with this. And I, I just, you know, I didn't think that I was going to like this as much as I did. And um, I really, really do. So like I said, don't let the acne solutions thing scare you. Don't let it put you off if you maybe have more mature skin, if you don't have acne at all. Um, it is just, to me, one of the coolest BB creams I've ever tried. So keep watching and I'll show you a little demo as to how I use it. So you can hear how thin it is and how like shaky it is. It's very, you know, important to shake it up. So I use the light shade. I'm going to use my fingertips because I find that's really what's best. It just sort of really pours out. You can see how runny it is. So you do have to be careful. And I go like that and then it's so thin that I just literally like dab it all over like that. I press it into my skin. It has like a sunscreen, like alcohol-y type scent to it. If you've ever used any like thin, um, 
foundations like I believe L'Oreal had one that was like the magic loomy it was very powdery in texture when it dried this one's not like that it's very um it feels very moisturizing and um it just leaves like this beautiful glow so I like to especially on areas where like I need some coverage where I have like like I don't have any breakouts going on on my forehead right now I just have all those little dark marks from where I have in the past just super annoying so I just sort of pat it in and it is a little different to get used to it's not like for me I don't just like rub it all over like a cream I literally like pat it in so it is a bit hard to get used to not hard but it's just different um, I'm just sort of patting on any more on areas where I need coverage and because you're patting you just need to make sure that you're um, that you're getting it all rubbed in and it's actually like Patting it in is a technique that um, a lot of like BB and CC creams like recommend, like really authentic ones. It's not going to set up super powdery. Um, it feels like you've applied a moisturizer to your skin. This is what the foundation looks like on its own, by itself, nothing else. Um, I would probably add just a little bit of concealer, which I would even if I was wearing a super heavy foundation because I wouldn't, you know, I always say like I like to use concealer for what it's meant for. I don't like to pile on a lot of um, foundation. So I'm going to um, finish my makeup with this and I'll be right back. So what I like to do with this to like finish everything is I use a really light setting powder that doesn't have any color to it. Um, I've been really loving this Too Faced Primed and Poreless and I just use it on a really like, you know, I just barely put any you know, I don't want to lose any of the, that's what I like about this stuff, is it keeps the finish. Um, I really didn't use any concealer with this. I mean, you really don't need to. And I just wanted to show you what the actual, I probably could have used a little more. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to, like, really show you what it did. So, I'm going to use my NYX contour palette and then just, you know, sort of, just to give my skin some color. So this is how I would sort of finish this whole thing and how I would wear this as a foundation. And then just a little bit of blush. And I just sort of, just like you would, you know, any other product. But I like this stuff because, you know, daily, if you didn't want to do all this extra other stuff, you could use it just, you know, at your sink in the morning and, you know, in place of your moisturizer and it would be fine and you would kind of be set and not feel like you had to, you know, do so much more. Or you could do that and then come in here and do more, you know, like like I just did. Um, like set it and use some blush and maybe a little bit of contouring and stuff or some bronzer. So because of that, I do feel like it's very um, versatile. So that's everything. Um, I used my MAC Whirl and Cream Cup, which is like, y'all know, my favorite combo of life forever. And um, the Slip Lip Vex by Sigma, which I love. Um, so I've got to take my hair down. I've got like a little beehive going. But that is the gist. Um, overall, very good. It's very different from anything that I've ever tried. And it's very versatile. That's why I like it. Like I said, it's a true, even though it feels more like a foundation, it behaves like a foundation. Um, it is, it gives you the results of a BB cream and the moisture and all of that. Um, so I like that it's got the SPF for the summertime and um, it is very long wearing, um, especially if you set it very lightly. So um, I hope that you enjoyed that little demo and the full review and definitely check it out. I'll put the link and everything below and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.